Welcome back, Canon Faithful, for another Canon Fodder Breakdown. This week focuses on the new content coming with this month's Hammerstorm update, so let's get to it. We open with a look at the new arena map, Torque, set on Origa Station. Commissioned in 2555, the station was a premier R&D facility for Lethbridge Industrial. The human and AI teams were kept busy decrypting Forerunner and Covenant records, and the station was fitted with the latest UNSC fabrication systems and Sangheili procured forges to advance humanity's reverse engineering projects. Naturally, these technologies made the station a target for Cortana and are created. Removing the human presence and repurposing the local AI, the station is now dedicated to advancing Cortana's plan. On Twitter, Decepticon Cobra had the idea that Cortana could potentially use the station to build a new composer. She did note that those in her way would be rebuilt in her own image. Sounds like peace under threat of composition to me. Potentially, at least. Anyway, what remains of the UNSC is now targeting the station. With highly trained Spartan operatives, they hope to either take control or deny the created their prize. Now, you see that, 343? That is what Spartan Ops should have been. Missions like that. I, I can't be alone on this. Tell me, tell me! You wouldn't want to experience a mission like that. Moving forward, our next section takes a look at the two new armor sets coming with the update. First up is Decimator, which, if you recall, is the closest any Gen 2 system has come to replicating the Mark 7 platform. The Decimator is a materials group's attempt to re-engineer key improvements of the Mjolnir Mark 7 prototypes. The most successful of these efforts is the suit's protein energy shield, which can be partially reshaped and sculpted. Decimator helmets have a design lineage that stretches back to the final years of the Covenant War, though few Spartans or Unicom commanders are privy to the full details. Fun fact, reshaping the energy shields was a proposed upgrade for the Mark 7 platform made by Halsey back in 2535. On the design side, I can't say I'm all that thrilled, as I was never really a fan of making Naomi's Mark 7 look like the Mark 5B platform. Nothing against the Mark 5B, I just don't really think that the Mark 7 should resemble it. I will say, hopefully those that have been wanting the Mark 5B will be satisfied with this. Next up is Marauder. A rarity in an age of highly specialized Mjolnir variants, Marauder is a general purpose powered assault armor that takes full advantage of line replaced modules and reprogrammable sensor arrays for maximum flexibility. The Marauder visor is built around the concept of hot loadable tactical software modules optimized for particular situations. Modules are selected either by the onboard battle management system or the user. And we close out coverage of the Hammerstorm update with, quite appropriately, a quick quip about the Gravity Hammer. Nothing all that new in terms of content, just a little history and flavor text. After that, we get a community question asking whether Naomi010 is still active. She still is active as of 2558, but her missions are, predictably, highly classified. With that, the article comes to a close, and we arrive at the universe entry for this week, the Z750 Special Application Sniper Rifle, aka the Binary Rifle. This rifle was purpose-built to combat the Flood. Utilized by warrior servants and constructs, it was commonly used to eliminate nascent key mines and war forms. I'd love to hear more about those. Following the firing of the Halo Array and the complete loss of Forerunner Command and Control via the Domain, most binary rifles had their security measures activated, reducing them to useless fragments. The obvious exceptions were the rifles on Requiem, which had their own unique master key. When Cortana entered the Domain, she was able to reclaim key Forerunner Command channels, hence her control of the Promethean Constructs. And that does it for today. A lot of interesting lore, I have to say. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this has been Halo Cannon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.